Welcome back everybody, Dynasty Warriors 4 Expert Mode, continuing on with Legend Mode. Liu Bei's Escape. Let's see. I can't remember if switching outfits resets the items or not. Did. Wait a minute. I ain't no coward. Take that off. Let's give this a whirl here. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm I'm chilling, man. It's 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 been a lovely day off so far. I spent a little bit of time today with my old uh, old assistant manager. I might get bodied this level. You know what just occurred to me? I didn't finish my point I was making about Casting 3 in the last episode. I was, I was talking about what I've been trying to attempt to do with this series where if you were so inclined, you could go and from a playlist, you can watch any stage in Dynasty Warriors 4. Of course, I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. And go and watch it played on the hardest difficulty to the, to the best of my ability and eventually see it beaten. And I, I guess I feel like Kessen 3 deserves the same. Like, it's such a good game, fun game. That I, I wish they had made more like it. Um, maybe one day. They, they did revisit the Dynasty Tactics model a little bit with God Seekers, which I which I watched somewhat, but I never played. It just looked lame. Looks like it didn't have like the charm to me of the original Dynasty Tactics. I don't know if that's a game. I'll ever play because whereas it is fun it's like a super chill game but it's very hard to play it and make it entertaining like there's just there's not a lot of stimulation there truth be told there really is not uh it's a lot of the same stuff over and over again. So. Not much variety there. I, I may. 
instead of doing a full playthrough, I may consider doing like a highlight video where I just show off the gameplay of, of the Dynasty Tactics games. But now, other, other, other than that, probably no series on that one. Castle 3, though, I, I want to make, once again, just the de definitive. Every, every level of the game. Hardest difficulty. You know, showing off the potential of, of how fun it can be. And the fun cutscenes and stuff. Because... Unlike, like, especially a lot of the newer games, I mean, no disrespect to the people who participate, but the newer games, they really do not have, and it's obvious, a huge budget when it comes to voice acting, uh, especially Dynasty Warriors 9, which was notoriously atrocious. But it wasn't atrocious in, like, the Dynasty Warriors 3 way where it was fun. Like, they were trying hard... Uh, it's just, I don't know. I, and I apologize to the men and women. I didn't feel like the talent was there. Just really did not. Something, something went wrong somehow. And I know that the dude who did the voice for, because uh, I remember seeing it on Reddit, the guy who did Lee Dion. He's like, yeah, we were just kind of thrown into it. We had no idea of pronunciation. It was all last minute. We didn't have much guidance on, you know, how all these characters feel about each other. We were just given the dialogue and basically told to guess. You know, we th this character is this way. They they and they say this. You know, and then. They were told to just record a bunch of lines. And, you know. Obviously, that was not very conducive to a, a great final product, and I didn't have one. But uh, Casson 3 was so well voice acted, it's crazy. It's, it's like. And they kind of did the same thing with Kesson 2 in a way. Where the approach is, it's kind of like a movie. Uh, an interactive movie. Not quite like a Detroit Become Human or whatever. Not exactly like that, but... It was... Um, no, just a very cinematic... Approach to, to storytelling, which they, they they do not typically have in most of their games. I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to really getting to show it off, and I'm hoping that I can kind of pay because these games, Dynasty Warriors, Kess, I, I don't know. It's just my life has inexplicably been connected with all of these games and they've just they've been a constant through my life a source of comfort a source of fun uh, and at times a source of frustration when I know how great things could be and you know corners are cut or whatever you know I just I worry because anytime you're in a field which is ultimately creative in nature there's a fine line between, you know, I, like I wonder, and really it's not even the same, but you look at like a Family Guy, for example, which has, or Simpsons, which has been going for years and years and years, so many seasons. Like, at what point do does the passion for creating content just burn out? Of course, now those are such big budget operations and they mean so much to the networks that own them. That they can actually, if somebody is getting burnt out or whatever, they can rotate out writers or whatever. And the people that do the, like Seth MacFarlane 
whatever. All those, and I know Seth MacFarlane is one of the main writers and creators of the show, but he's also the chief voice actor. I guess, for, but for those that purely write, they can rotate people out, bring in, you know, fresh eyes, fresh ideas, and still keep it going. I think with Koei, what they have been guilty of is the same people doing the same shit for so long that they're so burnt out and tired and creatively like, okay, well, how do we do the same thing again but different enough that it's worth adding on? That's hard. That's hard, you know, because how many of these games do they have where they ultimately follow a similar pattern, a similar formula. How long can you keep that going and still be creatively, mentally, emotionally invested? Whether if it's your paycheck or not. You know, and that's why we see so many of these sports games that are just released every year that are fucking lifeless, at, you know. It's it's a roster update or whatever, you know. It's because uh, it's 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 the same shit. So I worry. I, I genuinely I, I worry about that. As somebody that enjoys Dynasty Warriors, I still think I still think they have one more main entry where they spend a lot of time and it's definitive and it's just the final just it, it's the final entry in a storied multi-decade long franchise where they take everything that people have loved about the games over the years eliminate everything that people have found irritating and of course there's no pleasing everybody but you know what I mean just big picture. Um, what sense I have is yours. Get on the get on the same page with it and make one final major game. Probably do the same for Dynasty Warriors at this point. Do I don't know. In a way, I still feel like Samurai Warriors. You kind of have more of the story to tell. I feel like you can you can go different ways with that. But at any rate, I'm I'm gonna hush up on that. That's I I would enjoy everybody's opinions. You know, I I don't think I, I may have posed the question, but I don't know if anybody has actually ever answered. Is there anybody watching these videos that still actively plays that? Um, still has still has passion for the series, you know. Do you play the old games? Do you play the new ones? You know, I played Dynasty Warriors Nine Empires. I didn't like it. I, I felt like it, it it struggled with a lot of the issues that the first one did. It's lifeless. It's a lot of the same shit over and over again, which. For somebody saying that about Dynasty Warriors of all things, where that's kind of the appeal, uh, I don't know. Dynasty Warriors Nine Empires was was fairly enjoyed, though. I, I think it might be interesting, and I may make this video sometime where I just get on Steam and look through some of the reviews. For Dynasty Warriors 9, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires, you know, a lot of these more recent releases, Dyn or Samurai Warriors 6, or 5, I apologize, a and see where people that are still playing these games on a regular basis, where they're falling. 
Of course, the only bias is with reviews is that most people that review will feel very strongly one way or the other. But it, it's something. It's something. I, I think probably the people that are watching this video, my little community, my little area of the internet, a lot of the people that watch these videos, they, they probably are along the lines of they, and this is my guess, obviously, but I, I think most people that watch these videos are probably in the same boat where, where I am, where it's like, In my heart, I'm always going to have a soft spot for Dynasty Warriors just because it's it, it's been such a major part of my life growing up from being the first game, this game being the first game I played as a little kid to being, you know, an ever-present part of my life growing up. And now as a young man... I still play. Now, if if I weren't doing this series for YouTube, I probably wouldn't just be playing on the hardest difficulty or whatever. I'd still play it fairly often, I think, just as something to chill. But I, I feel like I, I kind of owe it to this game and the series to make the one definitive playlist where... It's, it's easy to follow, easy to know exactly what you're about to watch, what you are watching. That's just, it's, it's what I wanted to do for this series. And I'm going to do it for Kessin 3. Uh, Kessin 2 will be a little bit harder, just because it's it doesn't run very well on the emulator. That being said, I, I can try it. Somebody can educate me on, on a fix. and Might be able to get something popped off there, but... Uh, I don't know. She does, though. I was wasn't too bad. Say, so who have we got next time? We'll do a little preview. The Nobleman. This this mission sucks, bro. I remember this one. Okay, well, that's what we'll do next time. Goodbye for now, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.